Hi, it's Bumbleberry. Do you guys remember this game? Well, we're gonna have some fun and we are actually going to finally get the true love we deserve. And as you all know, this is John. He's a very nice young man. Right now we're in a very not good place <laughs> in his life. Now, if you guys have not seen the main story of this game, please watch the playlist. There are lots of events with his main stuff. We're just gonna start off pretty much early in the actual separate dating scenes um, until we get our affection up to Bestie and he believes in us. He's a calm, good-looking rich kid and he's a non-mutant, supposedly. All right, you ready? Here we go. Okay, I had to go back in time to even date John remotely. I had to go visit him during the day and I had to tell him his art was cool and that my art is art and then I can ask him out and I go, hey John, What's stopping you from expanding your canvas? Uh, aside from parents and my status? The authorities, for one. Oh, come on. What do you say? You and me, we go out some time and paint the town. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. It'll be easy. Come on. Don't you want to learn more about colors? I can teach you a thing or two. Alright, okay. I'm in. When and where? Just wait for me at the park at night. Ooh, and ask him to bring paints. There's a lot of supplies I can't afford. Yeah, that's right. Rich boyfriend, bring paints. Are Friday and Tuesday nights all right with you? Yeah, and do you think you can bring some art supplies? Like paints? I have some acrylic at home. Really? So you do some painting too? I, uh, not much. Just during vacation at home. Wouldn't guess it from you. Sure, just bring what you have. I don't own any spray paints, though, if you're looking for that. No, it's fine. Although, if you were looking to buy one. You spent some time talking about art with him. I am so excited. I think it's a date. We're just co-workers. Is that what you call it these days? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna be at the park. We can do the things you said and more. He grabbed his arm and went on. Whoa, hey. All right, this seems perfect. Kitty, you're not going to spray paint here, are you? Huh. I believe what we're doing is called vandalism. It's considered a juvenile crime in this city. You ignored him and went to draw yourself, spraying colors. I, I really shouldn't do it, should I? Whatever you like, Mr. Nice Boy. You don't sound too pleased, Katie. If he wants to police himself, fine, whatever. John looked conflicted. While you went on to dra draw rainbows on the wall, he watched you hesitantly, but eventually, he picked up a can and shook it. Alright, let me try. Welcome to my world, John. Sir. Stop being such a stick in the mud, Harvey. Lighten up. He started to spray his paint, making a straight line on the wall. Okay. That was easy. Congratulations, you're a criminal. This is a worrying development. Sir, I believe... I can always buy this place tomorrow, Harvey. There's nothing wrong with decorating your own property. But, please. Very well, then. <laughs> You're making pretty shades. We're being best friends. Ooh, their lines are intermingling, winky face. Katie and her colorful doodles contrasting with John's sharp edges. You two seem to be having fun. Well, we are. We are fun. Uh-oh. Popo! Oh, oh. We have to run! John, come on! We're out of there. Stop, you two. Katie, wait. John, run! Yeah, we're at the mall. Okay, okay. Whoa. Did we lose him? I think we lost him. I've detected that the officer is no longer pursuing us. How are you, sir? Tired. He looked angry. Huh, not used to being chased by the law, are ya? Yeah, well, I'm not a juvenile delinquent like you. Hey, that's no way to talk to a lady. I can't afford to be caught like a delinquent, okay? That's going to rain hell on my mom and my brother and, and then they'll find out I've been, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gotten involved with you just to spray some lines on the streets. Rude. Katie, you give him a piece of your mind. Oh yeah, and who invited you, dip weed? Katie put a foot forward, clenched her fist. You just want to hide behind your mom's money and sparky reputation, is that it? Go, oh, fine. Report me. Show some skin. I, look, it's not that easy, okay? 
What have you got against me anyway? Seems like you'd keep punching me just because I'm rich. Huh, well. Katie. She looked down for a second then managed to calm herself down. You want to know why? Because you're a self-centered jerk. Keep feeling sorry for yourself, like you have it worse than everyone else. What, you think you have it that bad? You think you're the only one who suffers? I... I tried to jump off a building once. You think you're the only one who tried to kill yourself? This is taking a weird direction. Wasn't expecting it. Did you? I'm sorry, I didn't... Gosh, I'm such a jerk. Yeah, jerk. See, I'm just inserting jerk from now on. Street art was my freedom. You think I'm just gonna let you talk trash about it? Illegal. Ha! Huh. What isn't illegal? Well, quite a lot. Like eating delicious brownies. You power-hungry jerks don't know a thing. I'm sorry I didn't think of it that way before. I shouldn't have. I can be a jerk sometimes. <laughs> well, maybe it's time you change. Man up, Johnny boy. I guess. You've got more balls than me at this point. I'm impressed. Damn straight. I'm glad you've reconciled. Now go ask him on a date. What? Come on, you're at the mall, you know. Go somewhere, talk about things. Really? You're shipping us. Now? Well, he's not bad looking, isn't he? Rich, too. Hey, since we're at the mall, do you want to get something to eat? I'll pay. Consider it an apology. Yes! Well, isn't that nice of him? Yes! Sure, what the heck, why not? Let's go then. Michelle's gonna kill me, but I'm going to love this! <laughs> Back here again. Hilarious, John. The food's not bad. There's nowhere else to eat in this restaurant, Katie. Unless you want to go and awkwardly watch Ari pine over you in Cafe Memoria. I eat here sometimes with my friends, when I'm not working, that is. You try to savor your meal. Ooh, that warm feeling of not having to dry your wallet for the food. So, I wanted to apologize again for earlier. I must have sounded like a jerk. I wasn't exactly sugar and spice, either. I shouldn't have cut you short. You said you tried to kill yourself once? Yes, uh, it's a bit of a story, that. Maybe I'll tell you about it someday. My suicide would have been so stupid by comparison. Do you... want to talk about it? Katie? Take your time. What a night though, huh? You think being chased around by security is bad? <laughs> Boy, you need to hang out more. Get out more. Sorry. I didn't expect you to be able to run so fast. Piece of cake, I'm an escape artist. Get it? Because she's an artist and she's a delinquent, so she's an escape artist. <laughs> oh my. What are you going to do if you're caught though? Punch him? Really? I would pay to see that. Sure, we can always find one now. I think I had too much excitement tonight, thanks. Bet you have some serious muscles. I'm not as athletic as your pink-haired friend, though. Remind me not to mess with her. Maybe you should, for training? It's good to know a girl who can punch. Oh? Sir, I'm obligated to tell you it's nearly your bedtime. Uh, oh, he's right. It's getting pretty late, I have to go. You still have a bedtime? <laughs> Alright then, goody two-shoes, see you later then. Yeah, it was fun. Kitty, thanks. See you. Yes, date night. I had a wonderful evening. Okay, so he's pretty close to me now. But John looks like he's in a hurry to leave. And I've been also working out like a thing. Because I need to get my combat skills up. Hey, John. Kitty, I've got to go. Sorry. He left the room without even glancing back. Well, that was rude. What do you think's the matter with him? I don't know, let's find out. He's in love with me. Despite seeing him running out so quickly from the restaurant, we found him pacing around outside, talking quickly with his pet. Hey, John. Katie? Hey. What's up? It's nothing, really. He looks kind of like he's got things on his mind. You think? <laughs> yeah, just ask him. What's bothering you, John? Come on, you can tell me. I... Sir. I can't manage to confirm Master Felix's itinerary today. Ugh, I guess I should have. I guess I just have to bet on it. What's going on? Nothing, Felix. He's my brother. I've gotta go now, Katie. Sorry. He grabbed his sleeve before he could make a run for it. 
Whoa, boy, no. You're gonna tell me exactly what's going on. Oh, well, man, she's pushy and he kind of likes it. All right, but I'd rather we talk about this on the way. Come on, be quick. Sassy pants. Ooh, desolate bridge. Perfect place to hang out for a sociopath younger brother. He walks briskly, worriedly, like he wanted to hurry but wasn't sure about that either. He followed along. So, where are we going? My house. Your house? You're stressed out just getting back to your house? And what's up with Felix? Felix is my brother, and he lives at home. Homeschooled. Mother wouldn't let him go out much. That actually sounds sad. It is. But right now I've got to pick up something at home without Felix knowing about it. I heard Mother's going to take him out today, but then I also heard it got cancelled, and I'm not sure now. So what's stopping you from just getting into your house? Felix. He's crazy about me. The moment I step into the door, he'll be right there to welcome me. There's no way I can do things here without him knowing about it. Crazy about me? <laughs> what do you think that's supposed to mean? I don't think that's what you think it means. She's been reading too much uh, fan fiction. But what's stopping you from sneaking in? Hmm? Can you help? Show the way. Hello, Katie girl! Congratulations on entering the elite! <laughs> this is your house? Damn. This shouldn't surprise you. I am rich. Nice. So classy. <laughs> you don't have to keep rubbing it in my face. Alright, which room do you want to go in? My room is that one. I see what you're saying, John. We can definitely do it. Sure, why not? Here we go. Katie, where are you going? You pulled off some acrobatics you didn't think should be possible. Trees, your bag, shoes, everything were thrown into this odd mix of an attempt at climbing your way to the second floor. Yeah, go girl. You are not Harvey, but I still love you. Hey, Katie's a lean, mean girl. Her body could probably handle anything. You found yourself through the window. John was pointing at in no time. What is this creepiness? What? Is this skeleton doing posed like that? Is this John's room? Because this is creepy as all heck. This isn't John's room. I've played part of his route before. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this doll in the corner. It's like a vampire and he has the voodoo dolls and oh, ew, the dead whatever thing in the corner. This is the worst room. Okay, it's supposed to be Faye, not Harvey. That's okay. Well, Kate, what's this horror show? Damn, this guy's loaded. Loaded and insane! Not a room that I'm expecting. So Mr. Charming Rich Boy is secretly a voodoo lord? You can say that again. Someone's coming. Hide. Katie? You really made it? John! Jeez, I thought you were somebody else. How did you manage to get here? I just walked in. Felix isn't home. Well, we could have tried that, you know. So what the heck did I climb up here for? Hey, that was all you. That was impressive though, how you just climbed your way up here. I've never seen a trick like that before. Yeah, thanks. How? Don't ask. I don't even think I remember how I did it. So, this is your room? What's up with the voodoo deco? Are you into some cult or something? It's an acquired taste. Is this seriously his room? There's no way. I'm sure he's stealing something from Felix's room and just feels weird about telling me. Well, as long as you're not doing a blood sacrifice or anything. Don't worry about it. I'm just a collector. I'm not that weird. <gasps> oh, wait! He's into horror like Michelle is. If you can just wait there, this will be quick. John started to rummage through his room. What the? What the heck are you looking for? Skulls. What? <laughs> I mean, tools. Well, skulls too, but tools mostly. Okay, but what for? Please don't say blood sacrifice. I'm making something. A present for Felix. So that's why he can't see you coming here? Yeah, I just don't want him to ask questions. What on earth are you making that requires a skull? That's... <laughs> A secret. I guess you weren't expecting someone nice and rich and sweet as me to be in the dark side, were you? Sweet my ass. But, yeah. <laughs> After our fight last time, I thought you were stuck. I thought you're stuck with suits, high-class manners, and OCD-level room. But your overlord mom lets you do this? 
As long as I'm not showing it off and spoiling the family name. Yes. Ah, where are my manners? Would you like something to drink while you wait? Such a gentleman. Just wait here. I'll get you something. He left the room, probably on his way to the kitchen. The door was slightly ajar behind him. Congrats, Katie. You're alone in a guy's room. Finally getting tired of being single. <gasps> Woman! I'm not sure dating a guy with literal skeletons in his closet is a good thing. Big bro, are you home? Oh no, crazy sociopath is home. The door was open and a boy's head jetted in. What the? Oh, it's a human. Hello? Are you a friend of my brother? Uh, did you hear the tone of his voice? He must have thought he was John's something. Stop shipping us together. No, we're not friends. Yes, we're friends. Of the special kind. Oh, geez, what's in this kid's head? Well, you are alone in his room. I'm glad Big Bro finally has someone. Felix? I thought you had a checkup with Mother today. Big Bro! I don't know, they said something about a problem with the appointments? <laughs> I went, but didn't get my checkup. Never mind that. I didn't know you were a friend with Katie, Big Bro. By the way, in this playthrough, I did not tutor the little psycho. Yes, she's a friend. I didn't know she's your type. No, Felix, it's not like that. It's okay, Big Bro. She's nice. I think. Ugh. Oh, you two must be having a moment. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm interrupting, aren't I? I'll go now. I like that Felix boy. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? That's the new... That's your... <sighs> I don't. Sorry about that. He's a bit excited. He's the brother you're worried about? Yeah. Seems like he won't bother us now, though. Sorry if he made you uncomfortable. Uh, I know you're not my girlfriend or anything like that. Blah, I'd rather we don't talk about it. Don't worry about it. Here. I didn't notice before that he was carrying a tray with a teapot and delicate cups on it. They looked pretty expensive. Ooh, he poured a cup for you in a way that looked practiced. Thanks. What a fancy cup. Maybe you ought to steal it, girl. Please don't. Oh, please don't. Shush, Faye. You're not actually going to steal it, are you? Of course not. You know me better than that, right? You think so? Oh, I think so. <laughs> anyway, you said your brother is crazy about you? Yeah, he idolizes me. Like some kind of demigod who could never do wrong. Little does he know I'm mother's di biggest disappointment. Oh, cut this emo crap, John. Let's just say it then. Cut the emo shit, John. You're pretty good at what you're doing. What, doodling? Useless drawings? Yeah, that! That's exactly what the kind of shenanigans you have to stop. Your doodles aren't useless. I was like, is she telling him to stop drawing? No, she's telling him to stop complaining about it. And forget what your mother thinks. You're you. Whatever you want to make of that. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Thanks. Look at your room. People can call you crazy after seeing all this, but you're still doing it. Why can't you do the same against your family? Mother threatened me if I rebel too much, my brother will pay for it. That's why. What? We're half-brothers. My brother and I? Father impregnated some call girl. Mother kicked father out, and I'm pretty sure she'll be keeping Felix under house arrest until I prove to be the model son she wants me to be. You know, she once set Felix's pet electrocution to its highest setting, so I do my homework faster. He thought it was because he did something wrong, but I know better. That's awful. No, wait, that's blackmail. Abuse. That's my mother. Still. I got a plan, though, to escape with Felix and see the world. Really? A plan in the process, at least. But I guess that's for later. But anyway, do you mind if I ask you something? Might be a bit personal, so you don't have to answer. What? It's... You know why I tried to kill myself, right? There's pressure from my mother, my family, my freedom. But why did you? You seem like you've got everything under control. I just tell him. We should tell him. It makes it easier. 
and it's so stupid. Which is why you should tell him. He's been there, he'll understand. It was an accident. Pardon? I was trying to get my brother's attention. Just trying to get some emotion out of him. And <laughs> I guess my skill with a knife was like a pro. Pretty dumb, huh? Is that seriously what happened? Like, I don't even remember that. No, I don't think so. Your brother must have been a real jerk to push you that far. I guess I'm a magnet for idiots. I suppose. I'm glad you're okay, though. Glad you came here with me. <laughs> Are you blessing in there? No. I'm just glad I'm here with him, too. So, John, did you get everything you need from your room? Oh, right. Just wait here. It won't be long. He went to the back of his room and started ruffling through his things. A voodoo lord in his domain. I wonder what his power is, some kind of necromancy? <gasps> Look at that thing in the corner with all the chains. What the heck is that thing? It's a pokon. Hmm? I noticed you looking at it. Some cultures bury their dead with nothing but a white shroud. So, you have a corpse in your room. Hey, you have a dead person in your body. That's different. It's not a real person, I think. So reassuring. <laughs> so disturbed. He walked his own. I never knew what to deal with those skulls. I want to know. Hmm? Sounds like someone's knocking on the window. Oh, Ari, this is going to be awkward. I make it out with a new guy. Oh, now he's telling me to come to work at night. That's when his soul is out, though. Why is he asking me to come at night? I mean, I will, but still, kind of odd. Alright, we're going to the mall. We are going to go and talk to him. Now, just to double check where our stats at. So, we're pretty high in most of our things. Um, yeah, we're pretty high. Let's see how this goes. Okay, what's going on? Where's John? He's right there, sitting around on his shift. He looks kind of... Oh, he's looking with a wistful look on his face. Well, I'm just stare at him. Go say hi. Sure. Hey, John. Oh, hey. Hey, Katie. How are you? Don't... Katie, how are you? Me. What are you thinking? Things. Life. The usual. How are you, though? I'm really asking. Fine. Hey, I'm more worried about you. Oh, wait a second. This is the evening, so that he, he's himself, which means last time we hung out, he wasn't. Things, life, the usual? Really? <laughs> is this all we think about, anyway? He seems pretty distracted. Hmm. Things in his head, he said? Do you remember when we went to his house? He was making the present for his brother. Oh, it's cute you still remember that. Of course I would. Why wouldn't I? Should we ask him? Yeah! John, how's that present you made for Felix? It didn't work out. That's it. It didn't work out. You wouldn't believe what I did anyway. Surprise me. Follow me. Oh, he took my hand! And the two of you went outside together. While holding his hand. Shush. <laughs> he took you outside the mall, then down the road and into the city. Where are you taking me? It's okay, you'll know when you get there. Hey, I know this place. This is where you taught John street art before you got chased by a policeman. But there's one crucial difference now. The walls. They're blank. They must have been painted over. The police strikes again. Vandalism is illegal in this city. Doesn't mean we're happy about it, Harvey. Be quiet for a bit. Of course. Sorry, sir. So they've painted it over. Trust me, I was as disappointed as you are. Don't these things happen a lot, though? Street art just isn't meant to stay forever. But I like that art. We made it together. Remember the last time when I told you I was making a present for Felix? I wanted to draw something for him. Something noticeable. A mural? Yes. Right here to replace our old drawing so the walls wouldn't be so blank. Now that I think about it, I guess it was really more for you than it was for him. <gasps> Your cute little face is so sweet. That's sweet of him. Why didn't you do it then? I did. But the people who paint this part of the city must be really happy. But the people who paint this part of the city must be really happy with their job. They painted over it again? What the heck? 
So here is my present for Felix. A huge ball of nothing. Just like me. Oh no, don't you dare use this as an excuse to feel sorry for yourself again. It's not your fault they're idiots running around erasing art just because they don't get it. You... You ought to be proud that you can understand them now. At least you're way better than they are. <laughs> Am I? Yes, so stop treating yourself like a piece of crap and start acknowledging yourself. You're patient even with a girl like me. You take time to understand me. You make good tea. Your art is beautiful. You care for your brother so much it makes me jealous and don't get me started on how strong you are. You think I can take the crap your mother does? <laughs> no. Do you need me to worship and grovel just to show you how great you are? That won't be necessary, thanks. Really, thank you. You need to stop thanking me all the time. It feels weird. D does it? Just a bit. I thought you were just a rich, spoiled prince, but... You're not bad, actually. We should tell him how you really feel, Katie. What the f- What does that even mean? I- Forget it. I really mean it through. Oh. <laughs> I really mean it, though. Everything. Since I met you, I've started to see things that I didn't notice before. Thought about things I wouldn't have bothered with before. Did things I wouldn't have dared. You're a remarkable person. Do you know that? I feel bolder with you, like, things will be okay. Being near you makes my heart race. I really like you, Katie. John? Damn it, Katie, say it! You idiot, I like you too, that's amazing! That's amazing! Okay, first of all, I have to save because if later, at some point, I feel like being mean and turning him down, I need to have that option. <gasps> Look how happy he is, sad face! Happy face! You idiot, I like you too. You big pile of emo fest. I like you too. You do? Even though I'm... Are you baiting me now? You're not nothing. You're not a piece of crap. And yes, I like you. Just the way you are. Oh, that was so corny. That was totally from Bridget Jones's Diary, P.S. Forget it. For all your stupid wealth, emo-ness, and that stupid smile you have, you're a great guy. And you... <gasps> mm. Mm. <gasps> are you guys smooching? And he's a great kisser, too. Who knew? Thank you. Don't you thank me. Thank yourself. Alright, no more thinking. How's this, then? I love you, Katie. What? We just went from I like you to I love you in, like, less than a minute. Like, how good of a kisser is Katie? I need to know. You too. What? Aw, you too. Hey, you're to blame for this, too, you know. Well, I didn't ask you out here just for a confession. His face brightens. He unzips a bag and pulls out an engagement ring. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. Eve. Whoops, nope. It's a spray paint can. And another. And another. Dang, those are some fine colors. I thought you wouldn't be happy seeing the wall so blank. And you are absolutely right. You took the can from his hand and started to spray paint your way through the blank wall. He did the same. Your colors, vaguely guided... Your colors, his vaguely geometrical patterns. They combined at the center into something quite beautiful. It felt terrific to be able to spray paint with him like this. Katie? Once I can figure things out, and can go wherever I want to go, will you come with me? <laughs> what, like, travel? Yeah, around the world. Well, maybe if I can figure things out too, and get rid of a certain freeloader. Sia la la! <laughs> <laughs> Don't get rid of Eve, I love her. Sure, why not? Sounds fun. But you'll have to stay fit to be able to come with me. What? I gotcha, John, I gotcha. Because we'll be running with the cops, because that better not be a comment on my pooch. Now get back to drawing. Alright, alright. We spent a long night creating a masterpiece. Talking, laughing together, a world just for two. You're holding back a fart right now. <laughs> I kind of feel it. Just let it out. Farting is healthy. Plus one. Wait, what's with those skulls? We will never know. She wants to sleep in after her long night of smooching. I'm so excited. Okay, I finally got John's ending. So after, you know, you fight things, you join with Sonia, all the shenanigans, John takes you up after you've been on the ground and everyone's staring at you. He says, ready? Mount Everest, Bermuda Triangle, then Atlantis. Think you can handle it? 
Shouldn't I ask you that? Right. Oh, wait. Photo? Sure. Oh, <laughs> day 55, California. Cool, Missy Katie. Miss you too. Looks hot. Oh my gosh, look at this. Everybody's got new haircuts. Oh man, I'm kind of sad that's the only thing that happened though. Like, I didn't even get to pounce. Oh my gosh, Cam, you're so obsessed with him. By the way, if you ask him if he likes you, he says he doesn't have the taste of his grandfather. <laughs> He loves his family so much, there's no room for anyone else. Well, that was uh, John's ending. And oh wait, that was zero. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, you must love that guy. Well, he certainly deserves better. Dude, I had to be so evil to get to this nice ending. But what did you think? Did you like John? Who do you want to see next? I'm so excited to see everybody with the babies. And there's Jackal. I miss Jackal. I need to learn how to be with him more. Hello. He's so pretty. Aww. So sweet. Little Felix is hopefully gonna grow up to not be a sociopath. You guys did such a great job with this. I will say I drove myself insane trying to get the correct ending, but I will find a way. <laughs> Let me know who you guys want to see next and hope you have a great day. Stay sweet. Bye.